Hey everybody, what's going on? Today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of Monolith. It's a top-down 2D shooter with kind of, we'll say procedurally generated elements. It's not quite a roguelike. Let's go start and we'll play. It's like a shmup, sort of. It's kind of like Isaac in a way, the way that it designs the maps. We've got the bestiary, the railgun, yes, the pulsar indeed. I played a little bit of the game, not too much, but enough to kind of know what's going on. This is our starting area. We've got a cat. Hi, cat. Sup. It's up to you too. We have this fella here, sup, do I, yeah, oh, we press spacebar. That table? Adequate. I'm glad you think so, what's the cat saying to it? Uh, what's your gossip today? Just below this hub is the excavation. By the looks of it, it's older than the facility itself. Considerably slow, so. Fair. So you'll see the UI elements, it's a fairly, basically, almost like Game Boy. It has a Game Boy-ish element to the looks. You see up here we've got some bombs, we can use infinite ammo in our main weapon, we have the map, I believe, and our health, 10 healths, the excavation. I don't know what is the excavation, is this us just starting the game? Oh no, this is the fucking tutorial. We don't need the tutorial, we'll play it anyway. We're sad to move as you see. I really enjoy how the, uh, the sprite for the, the little ship goes around, but we shoot, we can destroy things, as you see here with the left mouse button. I'm using keyboard and mouse. I think you can use gamepad as well. You can dash with the right button, the right mouse button. Kind of like a dodge roll, I suppose. I think you get iframes as well when you dodge. We must go through here. Destroy- this is basically teaching us. So every level we'll have, or every floor, will have one of these generators that we destroy, which will give us access to another area, I think is how it works. And then we can go... Boom. Wait, what? I guess that's it. Right, let's play the game. Let's play the game. Almost a little bit of Undertale in the hub zone, if you will. So the game's available on Steam for £6, maybe about $10, and um, it's a lot of fun for a, for a simple, cheap game that you can spend a bit of time with. Feels very good, the controls are very tight. Toit. Very nice. And the soundtrack's lovely. Lovely. Lovely soundtrack. So there's just a lot of shooting going on, you know, if you've played a shmuppy game before, or a roguelike before, you'll know exactly where you are, you'll know where you stand. Now there are, I believe, is it seven weapons? And up to 40 different modifiers for those weapons, that was an ammo pack. Um, so hopefully we can find a decent weapon. I'm not sure what the, the top tier shit is, to be honest with you. But I'd be quite happy to get something with a bit of laser action going on, maybe, perhaps. Downwell! Reminds me a little of Downwell as well, shop. What are you saying to it, shop man? So how many G's? We've got 700 G's, not enough to buy anything. What do we have down here? Does it even tell us what it is before we can- Oh fuck, I bought something. <laughs> I think I bought a bomb. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> we can use the bombs, that's okay. And you know, it's bullet hilly as well, there's a lot of dodging to be done. All in all, it's just a solid little game. Um, I had the game some months ago, but as I wasn't doing videos at the time, I didn't make one when the game was released. But there's no harm making one now, you know? A lot of people still don't know about the game. People still ask me if I've played the game. It's worthy of your time, I would say. It's one of those cheapy ones. It's, you know, it costs a Subway sandwich. Hey, hang on, I thought that was a collectible. But no, it was an enemy. Now, we are collecting scrap. The scrap is our G's. Oh, we've got the, the furnace. Um, I have no idea what these are. They look the same. Although one has... Oh wait, off a mouse over it, it tells me, ha <laughs> ha Laser, or fireball. We'll do laser. Now, I think there is a way to switch weapons. Is there a way to switch weapons? Hold on, can I find the options? There must be a button, it's been... Tab for map. That's for that, okay. I don't think we can switch weapons. Oh, it's got a dual sort of cross going on. Not bad, not bad. So this was our chest room. Um, there will be another generator of sorts that we need to destroy before we get to the boss. Hopefully we find that fella soon. Now we do have limited ammo in our other weapons. The default weapon is unlimited. Infinite ammo. But this one we've got 73 laser blasts, 72, 71. All that information's up there on the top left. 69, 60. See, we're doing well, we're doing well. Plenty to go around. That's the boss. I think it's within our interest to clear the floor. New hat! Nice, it's what I've always wanted, is a brand new hat. And up a this way. Might be another chest room or something. Oh aye, this is an upgrade! Aye, so we attach ourselves in here. 
and we can pick like a almost like a mutation of sorts, I suppose you would say. Prolong invulnerability time between hits. Better and more frequent item drops. Extra health and debris when replacing weapons. Better and uh, more. Fr See, this is down well in a nutshell, man. This is very much like down well, and I approve. The simplicity of it is what makes it good. It doesn't always have to be, you know, crafting and fucking transactions. It's just the simple old Isaac formula. And again, like this is fine for me. Right, let's go and fight this boss. Boss shouldn't be too bad. Alright, some scraps and who is the boss? Chamber Lord. This guy will be dead in two seconds. He doesn't stand a chance. Just dodge around. Make sure you're keeping your your distance. And he's dead. So we should get a weapon or some sort of upgrade here. Uh, we get a health, we get some ammo for our main, and we get a bomb. And we can proceed on to the next floor. Nice! Nice. Very good. It's just a very satisfying game. You can spend half an hour with it and have a good time on your lunch break. It's something I would probably enjoy seeing on a mobile platform, but I, I, I imagine they might have thought of that already. It might even be a thing. I'm not sure. Not really been keeping up with the news. Excitingly, however, the Vulcan or the Fireball. Let's go with the Vulcan. So when we pick a weapon, of course, it will recycle our old weapon, or at least we'll lose that old weapon, the old laser. So now we've got the Vulcan with a lot of ammo, and it put putts. Uh, I didn't see what the modifiers were on the, the Vulcan. But we got a lot of ammo to spend. There's wizards on the screen throwing shit at us. Not really sure as to why we're in this dungeon. Probably trying to look for artifacts long lost. Artifacts from a time that we don't understand or know. Now, interestingly, you do get a high score, and it will tell you what kills you in the last run. So you'll get to go back and fight your nemesis in the next run. I don't think it's too fleshed out, this whole system of it tells you which enemy you've seen last, but or which killed you last. But it's still pretty cool to know, kinda. Oh wait, that's a... Yeah, <laughs> it's a portal, not an enemy. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's just a satisfying experience. It's something, if you haven't checked out and you're into these kind of games, I recommend it. You know, even if you get like five hours out of it, which is easily done, you're spending your money well. And I think it looks pretty good. I, I like the art style. I like it's a simple... A simple art style. Enemies take longer to activate. Extra health and debris when replacing weapons. Plus 10% damage, improves depot weapon. Hell yeah! Give me the sword. So, plus damage is nice. And they are updating the game, so we've, we've seen July updates, August updates. Hopefully they'll continue to update the game, and I'm hoping that if more people start playing the game, then they'll be more inclined to, you know, throw some more updates in. More monies. We've got 7,000 Gs. I think we should buy something spicy. I'm almost certain you could switch weapons before, now I'm not sure how. I don't Maybe I'm just making that up, maybe I'm thinking of a different game. <laughs> right, what's this? 10% damage increase for 950? No. Wait, how'd that... Oh! I need to roll for it? I'll do it. Oh wait, I got it! I'm not sure how, but I, I, I think we got 20%. So we got 20% damage up now? Wizards in the rice. Fuck you. Do we have a key? No, we need to find a key. So that locked door will have something nice in it, no doubt. If we can find ourselves a golden key. We'll be all about that shit. Just making sure the pots don't have things within. Alright, one more room to do. So there must be a room timer for the boss, so you can't just like speedrun straight to the boss, there's still stuff to be done. Oh yeah, we can shoot- oh okay, yeah, I remember now. So you can shoot through portals. Um, very handy for fucking up enemies at the other side of the room. This should be an easy- uh, easy fight. Easy fight. And I believe- in, or maybe what it was is the mini-boss we have to kill. I know as much as you do. I've only played the game a little bit. I'm still trying to work it all out. 
I think that what that meant then is that if we killed the mini boss, we'd get access to the boss. Ah, the shop. Unlocks the vault. Deep freeze bomb. Adds two bombs up to six. Let's just get the key and check out what's in the vault. Oh yeah, there is, there's teleportate, right, okay, so I'm, I'm starting to remember shit now, it's all coming back to me. You can actually teleport to rooms by selecting them on the map. You know, just lots of little quality of life. Lots of little quality of life things going on in the game. Right. Let's fucking go, oh, it's the, the behemoth. Alright, let's do it. How much damage are we doing? Enough, we're doing enough. So we gotta dodge well, which I'm not doing. Oh shit. It's fine. The behemoth's a bit of a nasty boy. Oh fuck, it's the splash damage off of these other bits. Woo! Okay, we got it. We lost a lot of health, but we got it. Nice. And you'll see the UI starts to, to dull itself down as we accumulate weaponry. Oh, I mean, uh, as we take damage, rather. See, that was a Freudian slip. I want to accumulate weaponry. That's what I was thinking in my head at that point. I was like, I need some more weapons, man. Of course I do. Alright, take this one nice and steady. So I believe uh, Loot Bandit has been playing the game an awful lot. Or at least he's been playing it some. Um, he often plays the good roguelikes. So if you ever see a Loot Bandit video of a game, you're thinking, this game must be good. It must have something. Max ammo, up 20%. Fuck. Very good. Still no key. Hopefully the key won't just be a shop item. I'm sure you can find the key naturally. Oh, fuck. Careful, careful. Balls. Dems a lot of bullets, yo. Please die. Alright, three health. <laughs> it's not looking it's not looking pleasant. If I die, I die. You know, these are the things that we these are the risks that we take when we go. Oh, we got a new hat. I should be using my bombs more. I think do bombs clear They do. Okay, so bombs are kinda like a blank and gungeon. I should have checked that earlier. Fuck you, fish! Also, the, the effect when you're in the water is pretty cool. Slow and then fast. Laser, 1 HP, 10% damage. Well, we'll do the heart, right? And we'll, we'll think about coming back for the laser once we're out of uh, ammo. Oh, come on now. Fucking fish. So yeah, we, we're, we're taking it. It's mostly through an experience. Oh, we don't need to pick up that. We can probably go with the damage up then. What are you, laser? Pulse waves, radiates bullets, slows enemies on hit, fires constantly. Hell yeah. And we get a heart back for the old weapon. Yo, this is sick. I'm not really sure what the... Motherfucker. I'm not really sure what that wheel in the center was. Man, I'm just rinsing through this laser. Two health. It's fine. Oh no. Ooh. Oh wait, why have I done this? Alright, I'm pretty sure we're dead here. Fuck. One health. Oh, no. <laughs> shit. Oh, I'm not the best. I'm not the best. We'll do We'll do another one, though, because it's a fun game. I enjoy the game. It's pretty cool. We'll do one more. It's certainly it's the kind of game that you want to play more of, because you're like, fuck. I just died to a boss. I must go further. So, ended by the ice worm. 
A new high score, you say? Well, let's get back in and do it again. Uh, Akashic wing weapons? Akashic weapons? I've no idea what the fuck that is. Sup? Advice, tell me. Avoid an alter altercation with an ice worm if you can. If you can't, well... You can't possibly miss it. Well, thanks. Well, where's this guy going? Where the, where, what's in the shop, actually? Oh, fuck, I've got tunnels. Uh, consecrated weapons? So I can't afford that. I can afford something that costs 30,000. 40,000. 40 grand. That's expensive. Very expensive. 35, we're getting closer. 80. This guy's a ripoff, man. Uh, so that's the deep freeze bombs. Fuck, we can't afford shit. This guy's a ripoff, man. Alright, back in then. Oh no, my phone. Phone. Not that this is not the time. We're doing important work on the internet. Alright, back to back to square one. Oh fuck. Cornered. Alright, so if we can start off again with a decent weapon and some good upgrades. We'll be looking nice. Maybe another damage up would be good. I quite like the recycled weapon one. When you when you pick up a new weapon, you get a heart back and some ammo. Or is it some scrap? I think it's some you get a heart and some money, maybe? That one seemed pretty good. That seemed worth our time. Alright, what do we have? Revolver or laser? Let's go with the revolver, just to show it off. It's as you would expect. And revolver. Oh, it's got a slight homing to it. I think we need to manually reload this. Uh, did we, we went up this way. My phone's just gonna keep going. Fuck. No respect for a man trying to play video games anymore. No respect at all. Right, revolver. Let's get it done. So, in typical shmup fashion, I think perhaps our hitbox is maybe just like a pixel on the front of our ship. It might be the whole ship, but hopefully it's just a pixel at the front. That would make it a lot easier to dodge. Alright, what we seen? What do we have? Teleportman dashing. Shop items are cheaper. Frequent and... Yeah, better and more frequent drops, I think, would be... In our interests. I always like more drops. If we can get kitted out early, the game should take care of itself. What is this thing? No, the, the only downside to this is... Ooh, health. Recover all ammo or increase max ammo. Yeah, why not? So then that gives us an increase to our max from our full ammo. Uh, but having more ammo to use is always useful. Alright, let's fucking go. Who's the boss? The Guardian? So he's got like a, a mace hammery attack with flamey bits. He's also basically dead. It seems most bosses tend to drop a heart once you beat them, so... Taking one hit on the boss isn't the end of the world. Back to full health. Armors to floor two. I haven't beat the game, of course, as you can probably tell. The archives. I'm not even sure how many floors there are, to be honest with you. I should have left that heart on the ground. Or, you know, in the sky, since we're flying. Gives the money. Four and a half. For four and a half grand, we can probably buy something pretty good from the shop. If we can accumulate more funds, the better. Oh yeah, I should be doing this actually, because he's just going to keep spawning those. Alright, let's try it up. So we got the flying parsnip and the fucking, the cubes from Destiny fighting us. Nothing we can't handle. Alright, what's our freebie? Laser or revolver? Let's go laser. Oh, I think you always get a heart for a salvage weapon, maybe? Nice. 
Nice. I like the laser weapons. I've always been fond of laser weapons. Precision aiming implements of warfare. You know, there's no bullshit with the laser. You shoot one direction, that's the way it fucking goes. Kaboom. Alright, one mini boss to kill. Presumably. Uh, let's try right. And I should be make make a point of using more of these uh, bombs. Fuck. At least we get the heart back, right? What we got? Increase max health by one. Five percent damage increase. I'll go with the damage and the health. Fuck it. So we got a health up. And we got a damage up. That seems pretty good. If you ask me. And our upgrade. Please be special. Negate damage while on more than two bombs. Wait, what? I don't understand. Uh, create a selection of powerful weapons. Enemies take longer to activate. I don't know what that means. Does it mean if I have three bombs, then I'll not take damage on occasion? It can't be like invulnerability always, because that would just be dumb. I also don't really want to get hit to test it. I suppose what that means is if you're not using your bombs, you can just dodge instead. I quite like that. I, I like that there's, there's the uh, the opportunity for someone to just like stockpile bombs and then use that. Oh, does it auto use bomb? I think I know what it does. I think it auto uses a bomb if you're going to take damage. Provided you got more than two. Gain 400% ammo uh, for your current weapon. Lose half your maximum ammo. I don't understand. Is this like a deal with the devil? I'll take it. So it gives you 400%, then you lose half? Seems like a fair, a fair setup to me. Alright, time for the boss. The demon. Making wizards, I see. I don't understand. Right, so he's invulnerable when he has adds, when he spawns enemies. I'm getting hit by shit I don't even see. We have all oh, fuck. This is my first time seeing this boss, he's pretty cool. So what I would like to see in this game, um, if there's future updates coming, more weapons and more bosses and more enemies and shit, you know, all the good stuff. Keep it, keep it coming, keep up the good work, team. What are they called? They're called... Uh, they called Team 13D, the developers, I believe. I may have just made that up, that may be nothing close to their name. Certainly, they're onto something quite nice with this game. Monolith. I dig it. It's a nice, wholesome roguelike. Roguelite. Shmup. 2 HP, max ammo, uh, Recover 3 HP, yum, is that like Royal Jelly? It seems there's a lot of homages to previous titles, you know, like if that's Royal Jelly, that's like, you know, Spelunky. Max ammo. Mm. We have 6,000. Let's just recover two hearts and then... I, I, I'd imagine that's the wrong purchase to make, because that's expensive for two hearts. And we need a key, which he does not sell. The bad news about that is we now have no money at all to spend or call our own. Do I have a fraction of a bomb? I have like two and a quarter bombs. Show me the money. Electricity merely slows you down. Enemies longer to activate. Plus then... Ah, yes. So... 
More damage. You know it. And have I mentioned the soundtrack? The soundtrack's really good. It's a very video gamey soundtrack. Chip tunes and it really it just reminds me of the olden days playing games. A nice slice, a nice slice of nostalgia. What's this game similar to? It's not too dissimilar. What was that game called again? Fuck. There's like an old, is it an Atari game? It's like a shmup where you go through, at the start you like set up your build for your little, for your little shmup ship. And then you go through room after room after room after room of like different challenges. But I swear it was like a cassette game. It was like a long, a long time ago now lads. A long time ago now. A time long forgotten. I'll look it up and I'll put it in the comments after the video. It has a lot of that game in this, whether intentionally or not. Alright, let's check the chest room. Treasure room, what do you have? We've got a revolver and we have a revolver. Hmm. Bounces off walls, fires in threes, so triple shot, fires in twos. Fires in threes, fires in twos. Yes. So, it still fires two rounds per time, but... It's like a shotgun blast almost, we've got a revolver shotgun. Cool. So, I, I would love to see more weapons, more variety, more upgrades. Fairly balanced upgrades in more weapons. Nothing too outrageous. Uh, how much is that? 850? We should buy this then, so we get our invulnerability. Because bombs are kind of like health at this point. I think we're almost done here. Trying to use those props to my advantage as well, the, the ice icicles. Right, boss. Mini boss. Oh, fucking fish. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Not knowing what to expect from these enemies is what's kind of catching me off guard. Fuck. <laughs> hey, we got one. Oh, so I, I got a new thing for doing that. No key. I don't know where the key is. The ice worm again. Fuck. If I had more bombs, this might not be too tough. Fuck. Oh, he's too good! Ice worm's tough, man! The ice worm? Alright, well, YouTube commenters, do you think you can do a bit of joint? You can beat the ice worm? You give it a go. I'll leave a link in the description below for the game if you want to check it out. This is Monolith. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, all the usual good stuff, and of course, I will see you next time.